Now to an update on the answering rate for emergency calls in Colorado Springs. The police chief told city council today there's improvement, but they need more dispatchers to be able to answer emergency calls faster. Cardio 13 Scott Harrison is live at the dispatch center right now inside the police operations center to explain in the story that it's new at five o'clock. Scott. Yeah, Heather, where we're standing right now is where all the calls for the city come in for police, for fire, and for 911 emergencies. And we're told this is getting close about their busy time of the evening. Colorado Springs Police Department is authorized to have a staff of 114, but currently has only 86, we learned today. That adds seconds to the time a call for response can be answered. And in this line of work, every second counts. Hiring and retaining emergency call takers and dispatchers has been an issue in cities across the country, not just in Colorado Springs. We told you a month ago that Springs Police is below the national average in call answering times and longer than six other local law enforcement agencies. On Monday, Police Chief Adrian Vasquez told the city council that average answering times are better, but not good enough nearly 23 seconds for 911 calls and 3 minutes 22 seconds for non-emergency calls. Better than last year, but still below 2021 numbers. So uh, it is absolutely a, a problem we're trying to fix. How fast we can fix it uh, is, is the question because we've been working at that for a while. Police say that the stress of the job is why a fourth of the center's positions are open. The police chief points to salaries for center staff. They are about in the middle of what other front range departments pay, but that the issue is less about money and more about the extensive training and skills that are required to do the job. One councilman disagrees. Doesn't mean you're going to go into that because just for the money, but once you're, once you're there, you realize, hey, we're, we're getting rewarded for doing a hard job versus being not rewarded for doing a hard job. I might as well go do the, uh, the less stressful job. Now, Chief Axkes said that he is working on a variety of other measures to retain employees. Among those measures include offering bonuses at the end of the year for people who stay that long and also approve, Im improving, I should say, the call center environment. And part of that included a project in 2020 to kind of remake and remodel the actual call center here where everybody sits and works. Now, also, there's also a, what's called a mindfulness and positivity program is what the police department is working on to help call takers and dispatchers who work here better cope with the stresses that they face every day. We are live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.